Welcome back to our channel, The AO Life. I'm Ashley, this is Braxton, and OJ is behind the camera. And today is wash day, so I thought I'd share Braxton's hair care routine and the top products that I've found to clear his cradle cap. So let's get right into it. So while Braxton soaks in his oatmeal bath, I'm gonna start by rinsing his hair with some warm water just to get it prepped. All over. <laughs> and the first product, I'm <laughs> so wild. The first product I'm going in with is this shampoo. This is Happy Cappy. So this has been wonderful for his cradle cap. And a couple pumps is really all you need. I'm gonna start massaging that into his hair. So this is a medicated shampoo. I picked it up on Amazon. And it's specifically formulated. <laughs> it's specifically formulated for seborrheic dermatitis, which is also known as cradle cap, when it's on the baby scalp. I just rub this in really good into his scalp. I've tried several shampoos, and our pediatrician also had recommended Sauce and Blue for cradle cap, but nothing has worked quite as well as this Happy Cappy has. And then I'm also just gonna grab this little spongy brush that I got from Amazon. To even further, just kind of massage it into his scalp. Hi! Massage it into his scalp, and this will help to loosen any flakes. Okay, so once the shampoo is all worked in, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse his hair out again with some warm water. Ooh. Get all that shampoo out. Let's get a little bit more. rinsed out. The next step is actually the product line that I use for his hair, which is the Shea Moisture <laughs> Coconut Hibiscus Kids line. And if I hadn't used the Happy Cappy shampoo, I would start with their, with their shampoo and conditioner. But since I've already shampooed, I'm going right in with the leave-in conditioner. This is specifically for thick curly hair and it's got shea butter. So it's perfect for him. I just Bring that in all over back. Ooh, and it smells amazing. And then I just kind of work it in. Work that in. Ooh. And then the next product from their line is my favorite. It's the curling butter cream. I love this stuff. It is nice and thick. And so I take a generous amount of this and I kind of just distribute it all in his hair, all over. I don't need your help. Distribute that all in his hair. Make sure I get some in the back. There we go. And then basically I just start combing that through in sections. Let's see. Let's comb it through in sections. And as you can see, it's got a really nice slip. See how it makes his curls pop? Kind of just glides through. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep doing that all the way around his head in sections, as long as he can sit here and be patient. Let's see, his curls look better already. I didn't know at first what to do with Braxton's hair. I was a little bit intimidated. Um, he's a boy and I didn't know what to do, but then it dawned on me, just do what you would do for your hair. I'm naturally curly. I'm naturally curly and so I knew I needed to either do the LCO or the LOC method. I went with the LCO for his hair, leave-in, cream, and oil, which we'll get to the oil later, but 
This glides so easily through his hair. As you can see, he's not crying. He doesn't have any tangles. He's doing a good job. So that's all combed out. <laughs> and then what I do pretty much is just kind of scrunch out the excess. Too much product. Just kind of get rid of the excess. And I'll wipe off his forehead, get that cream off of there. And then I'll just let his curls kind of set. So I've combed all of his conditioner through. I squeezed out the excess product. His curls are shiny and they're defined. There's no signs of frizz. And his scalp is clean. No signs of any flakes for Cradle Cat. So he's good to go. Let's get out of the tub. So I'll see him in a few minutes. <laughs> Braxton, and be still. Braxton is fresh out of the bath. And so before he goes to bed, I thought I would talk about what I do to maintain his curls during the week. That's where the oil comes in and the LCO method. I use olive oil. I have tried coconut oil and I just prefer the olive oil in his hair. And I keep it in this little bottle with a dropper. I use a dropper so I can make sure that it gets down into his scalp and kind of penetrate. And then I will brush or comb to let it glide through his hair. Um, and that keeps his hair moisturized and tangle free. If I run into any flaking or have to spot treat any cradle cap, I found this amazing product also on Amazon. It is the Era Organics Super Balm. It is hypoallergenic organic and cruelty free. So it's this really nice thick balm and the way I use it is I would rub a little bit on his scalp and then I would take the comb and kind of flake up, loosen any flakes and then the flakes kind of just comb right out. So I saw another YouTuber use this and she used it for Cradle Cat for her baby and she said that it worked. I tried it, it works amazing. This is probably the best thing that we found to use for his Cradle Cat. So highly, highly recommend this. I also brush Braxton's hair every night to stimulate his scalp and promote hair growth. So that's Braxton's hair care routine to keep his curls intact and flourishing. I have been loving the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Kids line. We'll link it below as well as the products we use for his cradle cap because they have been lifesavers. You guys, please let me know if you have any tips, what you guys do for your baby's hair. Let me know in the comments below. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Say bye-bye.